Okay, 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 okay. What do you think you are, Don Maline? <laughs> but aren't I him in spirit? Aren't we all him in spirit? Hey you guys, it's Kian. And yes, I'm finally back with a new edition of DIY, the show where we DIY UI, which of course is short for do it yourself under the influence. And I know it's been a while since I've done one of these, but I'm back. I cracked open a fresh bottle of red, and I'm coming to you guys today with a DIY that is fresh off a red carpet. As you may or may not know, the American Music Awards were this past weekend, and I think we can all agree that the showstopper of the night was not Shawn Mendes and Camila Cabello almost kissing on stage in a aggressively heterosexual performance. No, no, no. Everyone's eyes were on some Someone else, or rather, something else. And that was Lizzo and her tiny purse. Now this bag went viral like immediately, apparently even spawning its own Twitter account. This tiny purse is a big deal. It is reported to have cost anywhere from $258 to $500. I don't, I don't understand, I don't understand. If you've seen the show before, I think you're following me here. Today, we're gonna recreate that bag. Now before we get started, a quick reminder that in DIY there are no rules. You are going to make mistakes along the way. But that's just life. I mean, DIY. -ing. The only rule that we have here on DIY -ing is drink every time we make a mistake. Sounds like alcoholism. It is. So before we could do to this project, we had to stop by the craft store to pick up our supplies. I did some interpretive dancing in the aisles. And the lady at the fabric counter definitely asked us what we were picking up these supplies for. So do you know Lizzo? Yeah. Yeah, she just had the little tiny purse at the AMAs. Right. So I'm recreating it. <laughs> so like, shout out to her! And now I have all the supplies I need to recreate this viral Valentino. Alright, so first things first, I'm gonna fire up the hot glue gun. This bag is just the height of excess. Like, it itself is a statement on the height of excess. The first thing is to create the structure of the bag. I take it it's gonna be like roughly this wide, right? You could draw it on paper that way you have a stencil for That'd the next time. That'd be so nice. Can you do me a favor? Get you some paper. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Didn't think of that on account of my little friend here. Bless your heart. I also got baklava. <gasps> Enjoy. You burned it. Referring to my visual references, I think I need to make one long flap that's gonna fold over to create the top. The same shape, but only half of that. And then I'll sort of like sandwich this one sort of like strip piece between the two, if that makes any sense. It makes sense in my brain. I'm gonna make it real. You just... Watch! I'm gonna draw a rectangle with some roundy edges. Like a rectangle that has a butt. Oh, those corners are not even. <laughs> they don't match. This is a better way to do this. I'm gonna just cut a rectangle. The lines aren't straight and neither am I. And now we're gonna fold it and we're gonna fold it like this. And then we're gonna cut these corners rounded like, I guess something that looks a little like this. Let's draw the front of the bag. Cut it out, cut it, cut it, cut it out. I feel like it's much smaller. So we've come to the conclusion that it's gonna to be too big, so I'm gonna cut it down a little. I don't know if this is gonna work. I just want the tiny part. I need to make it because it's dumb and unnecessary. And that means I need to have it. We got our shapes, guys. We make it fit a lipstick, and that's it. Voila! You smell a lipstick in my Valentino white? So now I think it's time to transfer our stencils to the leather. Oh, I just threw one of my stencils on the floor thinking it was a scrap. You know, as Lizzo once said, it ain't my fault. Gotta blame it on my juice. And here on DIY and frankly, that's a philosophy we like to live by. What do you think about award shows? Oh, I love them. They really are like my Super Bowl. When I still lived at home and had cable, I would live tweet them like they were sporting events. And now and then, those tweets come up in my time hop and I'm like, Damn, I remember that. <laughs> you know, you guys might not know this, but a few months back, Sam and I actually walked a red carpet at Grauman's Chinese Theater. In hindsight, I really wish I had a bag like this to incorporate with that outfit. The Lizzo's out here making power moves with a tiny purse. Who could ever, frankly? I think we have all the main pieces. Oh wait, now I forgot the strap. <laughs> not a mistake. That's an artistic choice. You know, all great artists drink. <laughs> ah, okay, it's starting to take shape. I'm getting really excited. Now, obviously, this is faux leather because we don't stand animal cruelty in this house. Right, I got the main pieces for the structure of the bag, and I just dropped all my hot glue sticks. That definitely counts as a drink. Okay. <laughs> Why do you bully me like this? Now I'm gonna take this little rim that I created and I'm gonna glue it to the inside of the bag in a little U shape. I obviously can't sew, so I'm just gonna be gluing this purse together with some hot glue. Here at DIY, we are on a budget. And also, we went to public school and didn't learn any useful life skills. Oh, it's uneven. Oh, that's a drink, guys. Snip <laughs> the other side off. Mazel tov. <laughs> 
You appreciated that, didn't you? Yeah. Thought you would. That was for you, baby. <laughs> well, look. Fashion, function, beauty, grace. Did Lizzo's purse actually open? I don't think Ooh. yours is gonna. <laughs> what I could do is I have some pin backs. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. Ooh, it's gonna be functional too. I'm so excited. So I have some pin backs. I took one of these rectangular rings and sort of bent it in with some pliers and I painted it white to make that little V buckle on the front of the bag. We put this on the front and then just glue the pin to the fabric. It looks like an actual thing. The bag also has a little strap, so I'm gonna make a little strap. <laughs> that scared me. <laughs> Put your finger at me. I make the rules here on this show. I'm gonna cut two holes in the top of the purse, take these jump rings, slip this bad boy through it, and glue it. Did you think when you first met me, like, wow, I wanna date this guy and be with him for a long time, and also maybe someday he'll film a video where he makes a tiny purse in my bedroom. Did you ever think that this was like the course that you would be on in life? Do you have regrets? It shouldn't be this difficult. I blame you. So the bag and all of its details have these black little trim around it, so I'm going to take this black sharp and just outline all the edges of everything to give it that same detail. This reminds me of like when you're a kid and you've got like a pair of black shoes and you scuff them and your parents make you like take a sharpie and color over it to fix it. This feels a lot like that. Is this gonna be good? Am I gonna make something that's halfway okay? Watch out Valentino, I'm coming for your wig. Oh no, I got a little black spot on the back of the purse. Use your spit. No, it's not coming out. I think, I think we have no choice. We have no choice. We gotta drink with it. We just gotta roll. Before I add the strap, I'm going to take this sun charm because it looks like it has a sun charm on it in the photos. Yes, the sun has come out today to play. So now the final step is going to be to add the strap and glue it in. Guys, I'm getting frustrated. It's getting scary. I don't know if this is gonna work. Oh, it's working. That's literally me anytime I'm anxious about anything. The freak out, and usually it's fine. I just told myself something that I pay my therapist to tell me for a lot of money. And now it is time for the reveal. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Lizzo's tiny purse. Oh my god. This actually did not turn out that bad. Like, it's not perfect. She's not the prettiest girl at the ball. This is like what you order on Wish versus what you get in the mail. So now that I have this bag, I think it's really time to just see what I can fit in it. In this tiny purse, you can fit an AirPod. Small dog sunglasses. Kind of. Some Tic Tacs. And all the f**ks you have to give. Wow. So, I made this and I own it now. In total, this really didn't cost me any more than like six dollars to make with supplies. So I think that's a successful f***ing DIY. I'm gonna drink to that. All right guys, well this was a thing that I did with my Tuesday night. Thank you guys for joining me for another episode of DIY. Wine. If you have any ideas for other DIYs you'd like to see me attempt here on DIY, Wine, leave them down in the comments below and they might become the next DIY Wine video. Thank you Sam, who's off camera for helping this entire time. If you liked this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below for future videos. And don't forget to follow me on all my social media. The links will be down in the description. But for now, I'm going to go. Until next time, I'm just Kian. This has been DIY Wine, and I'm feeling good as hell. Okay, bye.